ça. So, hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Let's Play with the developers of Mine Colonies. In the last episode we had some bad occurrences <laughs> where half of our colony got wiped out by the invaders because there was a bug in the guard code. Um, fortunately, we have some code to recover our citizens, so Barnaby is still alive <laughs> and our citizens are fairly fine. We're now on a new version that has that fixed, hopefully, and with the next raid we're going to see if the guards are really working now. Um, hi Irish Chef, uh, hi Strotaler and Hi Margo, how are you three doing today? So um, Today did not have a lot of coding progress because I had a lot of university things to do today However, I still was able to fix a few minor bugs For example, I was able to fix why the healer is walking back and forth all the time and that's actually mainly because the healer is missing an item to heal the citizen and that is kind of triggering a loop to walk back and forth between the place where the citizen is lying so that usually means he has an open request for the cure as well um, I'm doing nice as well, I'm doing fine things are progressing <laughs> I also found a little bug with the warehouse where the warehouse did not detect items on request and that was because while I coded that now um, even if you request 40 only th and there are 38 in the warehouse those will be delivered actually the warehouse code did not respect it and that's actually why the smelter is only going to get ores the moment there are 64 of them in the warehouse so that is going to be fixed then in the next version that we're going to release we relatively yeah. soon oh. and we need a bunch of axes I seem let's take care of those um, but we also saw that we had some weaknesses in our defenses and it was there in we the water yeah. area oh. so that's something I'm going to be fixing in this episode as well so I know th by chance that the lumberjack is also missing an axe so let me take care of that too quickly so here we go uh -huh. okay so ignite died. Um, yeah, mainly we have had a bunch of updates for fixes, etc. Um, item fray, item icons now render in all GUIs. Just to give you a short example, the list of items when you hover, they're going to tell you more detail and that's also now in the university we've upgraded a lot of things including our plantation worker so that's pretty awesome too let's check who here is actually sick Out. our plantation worker is sick I don't believe it I'll take care of How is the work going? so let's see what our healer is actually missing here let's see not gonna fire me over that one, okay, are you? Carrot is, has potato with him, but not carrot. Yeah, that's exactly the the bug I fixed as well. Um, here what you go. It? Take the potato. Take the carrot. Because he doesn't detect that the that one item is um, requested and one item is in the building, which then causes 
all of that issue. You see? Now we can hear the citizen getting treated. So now we need actually a way to fix this area here. You can see, let's walk quickly here. And what I thought actually, since we have those two neat towers, we could actually connect this area here with the other side with some kind of water fence. That was my general idea I had. And thinking, of, yeah, water fence, probably a fence over the water and then iron fence under the water. So let's just go into the ship quickly because I know there is a crafting table here. Get this here. Then we can swim onto the ship. Whoops. Here. There's a crafting table somewhere, isn't there? Don't believe it. Hi, Minecraft Charlie. How are you doing? So, no, there's none. So, we are going to craft our own crafting table quickly. So, we can place that around here. And then, we're going to make a bunch of fences to then start placing them actually. Let's get, get a bunch of sticks. And then we make a bunch of fences. Here we go. And then the idea would be, let me see if we can connect those. Well, that seems like not intentionally, but those seem to align very nicely. So. Oh wait, we are probably going to want this to go two ways. So let me um, take care of that quickly. We want to have it on two sides. Oh, Minecraft Charlie is actually working on implementing a beekeeper. There is none yet. Um, if you need any tips or something like that to implement the, the bee worker please um, do not hesitate to to contact us uh, don't waste time and energy if you could actually just ask there is no shame in asking <laughs> that's the only way we can learn things we don't know yet is asking so we're very, very helpful Minecraft modding community. Let me sleep quickly. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I know you will, Captain. I know you will. That is... <laughs> that is not a question. Um, so, um, I think we need some kind of connection here. So let me make only a few cuts sense sense I oh know we need more than that because we're going to make some kind of yeah it's, I think we make it five large so one and the other one is here so we've three blocks in the middle and we can put this here up like this and then we can start doing I uh, know not the lower one I wanted I uh, know that's fine that looks actually pretty nice and then we can go on the top over the, this water I'm doing fine always life is busy but things are progressing so that's almost always good oops that one I didn't want Building in the water is a little bit difficult. Now we got it. We're almost there. Now thinking about it, I could have probably done this more easily. Um, I'm building defenses. It's because when pirates spawn here, they can still kind of swim over the water. And we do want to avoid that. <laughs> Glad to hear that. 
and we do want to avoid that so that's why we have to build some defenses around here here to make sure that the barbarians don't enter so one high one two three and then it's this here so and then we can basically do the same thing on the other side here and I'm out of um, fences so I'm going to get some more planks from the warehouse I'm too high oh no that's on purpose um, the lower level is going to be done with um, um, another material that's on purpose and high some add-ins and I guess I didn't join the voice yet yes now I did yeah <laughs> with uh, putting some more post boxes around can be certainly useful that's correct okay let me just get through the warehouse quickly meanwhile I can check quickly in our builders do I think that is coming along nicely I got a bunch of iron with me as well so I only need a few planks and dump some stuff I don't need in the warehouse too so um, so we are we are progressing as always we got then update of the rallying banner here too that is now causing a few less issues so for example the rallying banner now actually doesn't get all our citizens stuck so that's some great progress already let me dump all that stuff here I don't need yes what else oh we got a bunch of acacia logs here I forgot about and yeah skimter we also don't need yeah so this here we need <laughs> a post box for every building that would that sounds just like requesting simply on the building that would not be difficult to implement but I'm sh unsure if that's actually something we want everywhere to be able to. then you build post boxes and spread them over at exactly the places you want a uh, level 3 warehouse the level 3 warehouse has the sort button ah. The laziness um, log acacia log give me the other 64 great and the delivery man is still holding that tire system did you put the priority of the delivery man here down from 10 did you decrease that because if that is on uh, 10 and then that is bad for the delivery man because then the delivery man gets picked up all the time. Hi Cookie, how are you doing? Um, did the delivery man bring my stuff already so I can... Not yet? So where are... I think I have a feeling... I have a feeling that he's not going to bring me what I need. What a... Wow. Some, sometimes I get really afraid when I see these archers running around with their bows wielding them and I'm like, ooh, <laughs> that, that one is coming to get me. I think some Adam's turned this on again. <laughs> so. I think I'll turn it on after you used uh, the welling banner. What can I do for you? <laughs> that would be just amazing. <laughs> So they all come to you and just kill you. <laughs> I, I lost my rallying banner talking about that. I can't find it anymore. Did you see it? Somewhere. No. Kinda lost it. We got the update now. And now the rallying banner should also work um, on the um, barracks. So that should be useful. Okay, let me check what our yeah, builder needs here. Yes, 
Sir. White floating carpet. That's no problem. Let's take care of that. While we're waiting for the delivery man to bring me some planks. Um, do we have... Okay, now I have to search for carpet here for white wool. I do remember seeing that somewhere over the mount. No, just kidding. So, oh, that was white wool. There we go. And then we only need string. And I'm sure I already. S here we go. String. We can make white flowing carpet with that. That's two. There. 32. There. Still not. Let's bring that to the builder quickly. And the pickup request in the delivery man should not matter we since the delivery man is not really oh. putting anything down. So. <sighs> so. Uh -huh. Did I dump everything else? Yes. Finished composter too. That's some good news. Um, started plantation two is finally two. That's good. Uh, it started the plantation two yesterday already after this in the stream. But as you know, we got some major wipe and had to load the backup of the colony. So some of the building levels got actually reset. Yay! Another upgrade finished. Our builders are on a run today. Um, let's just go around and click upgrade on a few buildings again. Why well, delivery man is still doing their stuff. And Set Horizon, how are you today? How is your colony? How are the invaders of your and your colony? <laughs> yeah, hire another delivery man here. That is definitely a good idea. So, and upgrade this. That one is here. Another one grew up. Great. That's what we can need. More people. Um, which tower doesn't have all of them assigned? There we got all of them. Um, there we got only two of them and no one assigned okay and now we got the higher button here we go oh that's a decent one intelligence 11 that's a good worker okay uh -huh. let's get to the warehouse and hope the delivery man brought us our wow those citizens are growing up at the moment as well in the speed probably because we got so many kids in our colony as well yeah we got about 10 or so <laughs> yeah we got a lot of kids um i guess i should upgrade the school then the same way too so we can assign more kids to the school because do we have it in a level three school i think yes that can definitely need an upgrade. So, and the problem you're having is that the delivery man is not picking up the things in the in the fisherman. That's your problem, right? And then you have to then priority one in the fisherman is the problem, and you should set that to priority ten. And the delivery man is going to start picking up the stuff. The fisherman is dumping. To get some sleep quickly. My favorite guard tower. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. We can... Ouch. I think I didn't build the thing high enough on the other side. That's a possibility. So I'm going to swim over there quickly. 
I do like the swimming update in the nearest Minecraft because in the past that used to be a huge pain. Oh yes, you're right. I was one too high. You were absolutely right. Whoever, I think it was Margo who said it. Yes, you were right. I was one too high. Here. I have to start one lower. Um, I do I have a crafting table around here? Nope. No problem. We make one. <laughs> I'm glad because I'm sometimes a little bit distracted. A little bit. So. Oh, I made buttons. Who needs buttons? Maybe we'll find a nice way to incorporate them in the build. Now that we made them. So. So one lower. And then we go on the other side. No, that one not. <laughs> and it would have been a major pain if I had crossed all the thing just to notice I have to stop it again. Oops. Okay. Con now. Okay, I'm going to click. There we go. So we're getting to shore. Okay, great. So now we got that crossed. Do we want a second level on top of it? How does this look? Let me check that out because I want to. Let's see. And I built a crafting table somewhere around here. Then added two far away. So I'm going to build one here in the top too. Can remove them later then. Um making some of these. And it's going to be later than the torches. For now it has to be like that. So those don't seem to connect, it's pity. But the general idea was to make it like this. Uh, I think the second fence row doesn't look very good. Um, putting this here down does look pretty decent though. No, not to the floor, only one level. They don't dive so deeply. They're not the, uh, the pirates from the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie, no. <laughs> yeah, but the, the second level of fence looks a bit stupid. <laughs> that would be a, a bit creepy, I, I, I agree. <laughs> um... Although, okay, this is going to be a little bit of a pain. How many blocks do we have here? One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it's kind of a pain counting all of this. Maths, counting. Who does that? Um, let's check how those slabs look like. You see, I'm always improvising. Let's see how those slabs look like on the top. Yeah, that looks actually right in the style, yes. Yeah, one of the best things of the shaders is actually these kinds of little details. That looks just amazing. I'm hearing my computer take off to have these little things. <laughs> Okay, it's one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm trying to find the middle of the two to make a little tower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do that on the opposite side the same way. And we're getting out of sandstone. Do we have some sandstone in the other chest? Then I would have to run back all the way to the warehouse again. Please? Yes! Thank you. Need a bunch more of those. There we go. Uh. So... I did make a way to go up, didn't I? No. Nope. Need this on both sides. Great. So. Then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're not in the middle yet. One, two, three, four, five. Add it one side, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, one, two. Yeah, that's the minimum size of the tower we're going to need here in the middle. So. Okay. Um, and then we're going to want this neat little cut sandstone here. Okay. The other side too. And then, whoops, excuse me. We're going to go this here all the way down to the ocean floor. There we go. Yeah, I still got the respiration helmet if you're wondering how I can stay so long underwater. So. So, let's place this here, nice, um, yes, then we want this here again, and that is the other one on the other side, isn't it? Does this align? It does, great. That's exactly two spaces, yes. Uh -huh. And now we're going to build all the way down again. And I think uh, this time it's a bit higher, so that's good. Here. And the other one too. There we go okay great let's make this just a quick jump and then we can put those lamps here again on the way back too no oh this flew just down so and now we got some more stuff on the other side here in the chest. So let's check this out. Okay, great. Uh -huh. And we want some slabs of that. Oh, those are growing up quickly. That's nice. Hey, our, our delivery man is doing pretty fine here with the fishermen i think um captain you should get some more delivery men in your colony maybe so and the other side closed again too great so i think we're going to go quickly again to the warehouse because we need some more sandstone and I think we don't have any here, yes. And then 
we're going to get some sleep and check out our colony quickly again too and then we're right back to building here and maybe go to bed quickly too great you should just hire more delivery men captain like we're having four delivery men now and they're still not so quick so you should get more delivery men Uh, yeah, if if you have a lot of additional mods, that can cause some issues that makes the fishermen fish too many one-end items tech-sized ob objects. That is definitely possible. Okay, those builders seem happy. Probably because some add-ons is taking care of that. So we can get yeah. this here. There we go. Oh yes, I kind of lost the rallying banner, banner, I think I did. <laughs> uh, one of the things that's really great with Mine Colony is that it's mainly a one-off mod. It's basically all you need. You put it on the, on the server and you're done. It creates claims, it creates basically anything you can need it. Ed, uh, because we didn't load a backup actually, we only loaded the colony from backup. So that one should still be here. Mm -hmm. uh, some small tool mods, something like that, are sometimes helpful. Um, let us get the iron bars here. We're going to need a bunch of those and those we can only place swimming so this is going to be a little bit of a pain to place them and need so much iron <laughs> okay this is going to be difficult uh, we can do this yes first round done Second round to go. Oops. We can do this. Um, closed. So the first part of the front is already closed. We're going to need this on the second part too. So this is going to be very expensive <laughs> okay but I hope your people are agreeing with me that it does look fairly nice so okay that closed nicely I do think that we probably should remove this here uh -huh. and put this here that closes a bit better i think maybe we wait no i think that's perfect okay and we got another crafting table around here wasn't ah yes i put it here inside um there we go. It should allow us to build it the way back again. Oops. And here. And closed. Let's take a look from the outside. I think that looks pretty much how I would expect the Seagate to look, to be honest. Um, let's see what we can do. I think I have some different log types with me too. Let's take those. 
that is ah that's defense gates we don't want gates we want those yes some oak fences because those we can then use here like as a little contrast like this yeah now this is the let's play with the developers server where only as developers are playing at the moment um, however we have also the tech colony server that you can see sometimes here in chat not today um, that is our patreon server um, I'm really wondering about making some multi blocks to actually make this extractable but for that I have to alter the multi blocks first a little bit um, that I'm going to write on my list definitely though adding support for multi blocks for water multi block water support Wizzy is bothering me, me for that for a long while <laughs> so I think he's going to be very glad that I'm finally going to implement this Two, three. One, two, three. Yes. Um, although the, we already announced it and said the next series we're going to make, like this is at the moment the uh, Let's Play with the Developer series, but the next series we're going to make um, is actually going to be then a more social one where we're going to play together with the patreons um, one two one two one two one two one two connect those again so mm -hmm. Um, ouch. Okay, so we're going to have to close this other side here too. And also remove uh, this little derp here. So that's going to look much better. So I'm going to save the iron here on the other side. Because I am a bit lazy to place it. And... Or I think I'm going to at least go with one. Nah, I'm, I'm a bit of perfectionist. We have to close the other side even though the iron is going to be super expensive. Um, and I linked you our Patreon page in the description. We greatly appreciate all our Patreons. Because that's what helps uh, us to keep going with the mod set up all the infrastructure we need for the development because sometimes you you don't even know how how much infrastructure work goes into these kinds of things for example like orion is our <laughs> infrastructure guy and he spends a lot of time only getting our infrastructure going and that doesn't even include the development of the mod and then he also sets up the servers and there's a bunch of different servers we have for a bunch of different purposes and then when they're down like at the moment they're still not up <laughs> even though I prayed for it yesterday um, so and that one here then that one I'm not going to make as deep I think Although I'm wondering right now about making the seagate here. We just also with slabs maybe. Would that look good? Like give it a little bit finishing off here. Like here a little path. How does this look? We get the crafting bench quickly on the other side. And we can check how it looks like. Yeah, he's also working on a bunch of other forged things. That's also things that are um, 
Yeah, let me let me check check out how that looks from the distance. Uh, it doesn't look very good. You're right. Um. Yeah, it's, it doesn't look very good. Um. For example, that's why also we are. Mine colonies is actually a patron at Forge as well, because without Forge, mine colonies wouldn't exist either, right? The, those are things that often are left underappreciated in the community. The amount of Forge, the amount of work Forge puts into Minecraft and all these kinds of things that would not be possible without them. Um, so, can you use this as another tab? Let me go to bat here and Agarta quickly. Here. <laughs> you mean going like doing something like this? Removing this here. Destroy sand here. Um, unsure. Good question. Nah. I think it would then have to go get the shovel quickly. Mm. I think that looks good. I think that it looks reasonable, yes. <laughs> Like that's okay for me. That looks fine, yes. I think that looks like a good idea. So, although we do need... Ah, there we have eight. Nice. So that's one, two, three, one, two, one. Like this. Um, I'm thinking, I'm a bit thoughtful at the moment about this. Maybe that last one is a little bit of an overkill. Um, maybe I'm putting too much of a worry into it, but it has to be, it has to look good. Like those little things, details. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Okay, I don't have a save stand, which is usually a problem. Yeah, mining underwater is always great. And I just put those two cobblestones down just to have to mine twice. <laughs> so. Hmm. Some Edens is. You're barbaric. Throwing fish food in the water. Did your mother teach you that? Playing with food? I would like to see your German mother playing with food. I would like to hear her. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Very glad about it. That's amazing. You guys are amazing. So. Um, I'm really un unsure about this. I'm still not in the Discord chat, really. Oh, it kicked me out of Discord. <laughs> um, let me take... So, 
I'm always drowning here. So many things. No, no, no. And this, on the other side, it looked great. On this side, it kind of looked bad. Oops. Mining underwater. Just more mining underwater. You guys know how much I love it. One. Almost. We're there. It's only a matter of hours. Two. Do you also have this when you go into water? Sometimes you're holding your breath together <laughs> just to see if you could in real life be as long underwater. What happened with my... So, and the cobblestone too. Yeah. So great. Yes, we're not Twitch um, affiliates uh, nor partners yet. But as far as I know, this is our seventh stream. And then we're going to have fulfilled all the requirements for affiliates and only have to set up the stuff. Yeah, on that side it looks funnily nice. Oh wow. I'm getting now attacked by a bunch of these underwater zombies. Did you spawn though some addons? No. Every it's, every it's time, normal. every time something bad happens, I'm sure <laughs> some addons is somewhat it's involved into off. this. <laughs> every time, every time, I'm sure he's somewhat involved in it. Look, he's <laughs> running there. He's running there in the wall. What is he doing? He can't be not up to any good. Go, go, go back there. Help, help Barnaby. Help Barnaby. <laughs> go there. Okay. Um, we are going to need now over the sides as well. Um, hi Ingerton. Um, yes, you can change the villager's name, the colonist's names, um, using a name tag. If you shift right click them with a name, name tag, they're going to change their name to the one you put in the name tag, actually. Um, so... Now the question is actually, am I going to do more of this here? So actually this, yes, but am I going to actually do something like, you know, this? No, not so high actually. If something, I would do something like this. Oops, again. One. And yes, there's also a way to change the list of the name assignment there is in your configuration in the i think it's server configuration it's called uh, mine colony's server and in that one you can change the config setting actually yes i think that is coming together quite nicely now putting like a little one in between regularly to make it look nice. I think that's actually a nice idea. Let me take care of that. So. Uh -huh. And then make it like the start and then like one, two, three, four, five and the sixth. One, two, three, four, five. And then from the other side two. We start with one, and then one, two, three, four, five, the sixth, and one, two, three, four, five, and the sixth. And we need more slabs. Actually, one of the older style buildings, a bunch of them actually were built by me. And I have to say, it's often not the prettiest ones. <laughs> 
what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I then go one up and do the same thing. Um, at the corner again. Then it was one here, one here, one here, one here. Ouch. That's actually right. And then connecting them just. And no, English is not my. Oh, that's actually a difficult question if English is my main language. But English is not my mother tongue, which is probably the question you're actually having. <laughs> because I do speak a lot of English, probably more English than my own mother tongue. But at the moment, but English is not my mother tongue. Um, and five big, do I have a what? And we probably want to use oak slabs now here in between. Oh, thanks for that. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. Ye yesterday, after the stream, I wanted to upload the fixes and it was like so much rage, you have no idea. There was some kind of cookie issue with Curse, with the page. So they kind of uploaded the structurized version to Mind Colonies. And then I ar archived the structurized version on Mind Colonies, obviously and try to upload it structurize just for curse telling me or twitch te curse telling me that hey that version is on mine colonies and i was like no it's not it's archived there it's not supposed to be there and then i had to build a new version and upload it on both sides and one of these versions i don't know how got another issue <laughs> so it was so much happiness and fun and then when i woke up this morning i saw that structurize was I don't know how Curse did that, but it got de-archived, like it was supposed to be archived, but it got de-archived and added to to mine colonies and it was like, what are you doing at Curse? What, what is this? Why? <laughs> You're really trying to, to make me lose my, my, my temper. So let's finish this here. But yeah, that was so much fun yesterday night. It's like I was ready to go to bed, super tired and cursed, just making fun of me. That was amazing. Okay. And here on the other side, the same thing. Let's do that first. Um, yeah, this episode is a more building episode this time. I hope you're still enjoying it with less mine colonies and more building. But we did start off the episode fairly good with a bunch of mine colony stuff. Um, maybe we're going to get a raid and I'm going to finish off with mine colony stuff again. Oops. No. Yeah, just fly, fly in the water. That's what's supposed to happen. Okay, I need more of these slabs. Um, there's no job yet uh, connected to the tavern. There is going to be an innkeeper planned for that, as far as I know. And yeah, yeah some adults can tell you probably more about that. Yeah, I think at level 3 or so, you can someday get an innkeeper, which then uh, brings uh, drinks and stuff to the citizens hanging out there. 
and yeah besides there the inn is going to become like a hub in your colony F funnily it should be the the town hall but we decided nah the town hall has a lot of use cases already <laughs> and justifications for being so big so the inn is going to get a bunch of other functionalities as well and that's in including it's going to be a hub for quests in the future so there is going to be like random citizens showing up at the inn I'm giving you quests to earn items you might have to go to the nether to or mine colony specific items people like to have um, and we're going to make it also a more realistic place for the recruitment like at the moment you people already know that you have the recruitment option in the town hall but we're not so like we like real realism so that doesn't make us really happy because just clicking a button in the town hall and then getting randomly good citizens does not seem very realistic so the general idea was then that actually in the tavern some random citizens could show up in your colony and you can then hire them directly there So then you can hire citizens directly at the warehouse instead of uh, warehouse in the tavern instead of clicking a button and getting it. But as the tavern is oh actually only like the tavern that is out is only like part one of three because I forced some add-ons to release it because um, I wanted to make the early game with the tavern a little bit easier and I didn't want to review such a huge pull request yeah it would have gotten pretty big it would have gotten an Or Orion size pull request <laughs> and that really means something <laughs> yeah I had to add I think four new features to even be able to implement it so yeah yeah no <laughs> <laughs> yes i think it gives you a decent head start in the colony already one two three four five and the sixth one two three four five and the sixth and the other set two one two three four five the sixth and one two three four five and the sixth and one over it's the same thing here right yes symmetry that is so important <laughs> minecraft uh, the place where you find out that half of the population seems to have ocd <laughs> so and then we got we can just jump up and do this here you don't have to count <laughs> I don't think it's time for a raid. I could live without a raid for a while. Really? But it's boring without raids. <laughs> um, uh, with the tavern update, we also made it that you have up to seven levels, uh, seven citizens' time to get raiders. But we are further working on stabilizing it. So let's see how that actually is looking right now. And I think that looks pretty amazing. I think it looks pretty great. I didn't expect it to turn out so nice. I have to even it out on this side a little bit so it connects better to the wall so it doesn't look like so freestanding. But that looks pretty good, I have to say. Yes, I'm very satisfied with that. Um, the guard ratio we have we expect in a colony is a one-to-one -one. like for every citizen you have we expect you to have one um, 
One guard. Um, hi to you, do Sidono, and you can have that if you research it. The university, you can see it here in the distance, it has a research option for higher citizen counts. And then the first research unlocks 25, and then each research level um, increases it by a certain amount of people you can actually have. So, what are you up to, Reynold, here in the water? Oh yeah, in creative, <laughs> in creative, um, those researches get unlocked instantly as well. Um, if you click them, you click you click them, it research researches them completely. You wait like thirty seconds, and then it's activated, and you can research the next one. We almost have fifty citizens in our colony. Maybe we have fifty already. Yeah, I'm not sure. we do. We do have fifty. Yeah. So. Okay, what's the next step now here? Um, we need torches, I guess. Yes. Next step is torches. So those would fit. I can't place torches here. Oh god. Eh, I'm going to make a multi-block water gate, but for the, for the multi-block water gate, I need to to have multi-blocks place blocks in the water and that's not happening at the moment so I have to implement that first okay that is kind of disappointing can mobs spawn on slabs at the moment wait no idea I can do this and I can't put those here either right can I oh that works great I can put those here on the side Ouch. So putting torches here. Whoops. Okay, great. So those are lower slabs. So that's going to be fine then. So. Well, those are. Our kids aren't growing up in the speed. That's. So. That looks pretty amazing. I have to remove that one torch there. That's not symmetrical. But that is looking pretty great. I have to do that on the other side yet too. Whoop. Into the cold. And we go up again. I'm going to continue this build here. Here. And on the other side we also have to place those. One. Here we go. Two. Three, four, five, one more here. Um, a huge horde of raiders from the northwest. Okay. So I have to. Do you have your uh, banana? Nope. I didn't plan uh, craft it yet. Uh, make one. We do not have enough time to make that now. Gotta go oh, to sleep. Yeah, it's gonna take <laughs> two minutes or so to walk. Yeah, yeah. Fast. Yeah, let's just do them and kill our entire colony. Why not? Okay, I'm running. Northwest, where's northwest? That's east? So, okay. On the other side of the colony. Nice. Of course. So yes, there is a way to add your own buildings and that is by going on our wiki and checking out the guide on schematics because there are a lot of little details there that I wouldn't be able to ex fully explain. So it would be better if you check out our wiki article on the scan tool and making your own schematics. Because yes, we do fully support um, custom schematics. Okay. Hmm. Northwest. Not seeing any here. 
Let me check now. So they're ah they're coming up the mountain here. Anakin, I have the higher ground. Do you want to help or alone again? Yes, help! <laughs> Ouch. I'm on one heart. Ouch. Ouch. That was my demise. <laughs> now I gotta run there quickly. He's gonna die. Of course I'm gonna die. <laughs> so I'm is still there, but yeah. Nah, I died... Uh, before you called it, I call it. <laughs> but it was not so difficult to call it, even though. Oh, he was slain as well. Great. A huge horde of barbarians are now coming down here in our colony. Yeah, I. after the Seagate, we're going to take care of the thing up there as well. Ouch. Maybe we should actually use our guards. Yeah, we should probably put some guards up here as well. Where's my... Where's my grave? Okay, here it is. So... So... Where are those barbarians? Ouch. And again, I forgot that I could simply use my sword to take care of them more easily. Where are the other barbarians? Some in our barracks. Here. Do that. Here. Die. Oh, you have them on follow now? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have the the banner? Or you no. just ran to our barracks yeah. towers? Well, I, I uh, respawned the tower back, so... Uh, only two towers left. Long. Nice. And I'm seeing a raider here right away. I see balls. Wait, no. Okay, I'm going to let our archer take care of that. Let's see. Nice, Reynold. You got a power three flame bow. <laughs> That's how he killed them so quickly. Yeah, some guys have quite nice bows. So, okay, that worked out a little bit nicer this time. And we noticed that we do need some guards on top of that mountain. Yeah. To defend, actually. Although it's kind of difficult to... I don't know how to do, how we should do that actually. Maybe well, we got a uh, second barracks down the mountain. Yeah, we could use the second barracks here down the mountain and assign them on the top. Yes. Yeah. Or at least have them kind of patrol between the top yeah, and their station. Up there. Yeah. So they kind of regularly pass by there and take care of it. Um. Okay. We also do have fixed the bug now that citizens um, go out and have party while the barbarian, uh, the pirates are still active, and that was actually because the citizens, 
the, or let's say the programmer who programmed the pirates <laughs> thought <laughs> thought it was fun if as soon as the spawners are done citizen can go back to work and yes that did, what didn't work out very well maybe you just kill pirates in the wrong order first kill all pirates then kill spawners <laughs> Yeah, but how are you going to do that if the pirates keep spawning until the spawners are there? Uh, kill, kill them fast. <laughs> be, f be faster, just be faster. Yeah, that's, yeah. That, that's so. not how any of this works. <laughs> so... Uh, so, sometimes you can blame Wissy for it, or most of the times you can blame Wissy for it. Although he seems to have uh, uh, thinner skin lately, and he's uh, complaining a lot to us developers because he's being blamed so much. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's probably the reason. Um, so... Um, and the sides here, yeah, let's take those, like this, like this, maybe, da, da, da. let's not make it oak, let's make it those, um, but yes, basically, Mine Colonies is very flexible in terms of styles. So if you want, you can make a style that is basically... Um, like you said, um, just a cube of oak. And then have the worker place it and take care of that. That is perfectly possible in Mine Colonies, yes. However... This only works in single player, since in multiplayer we take care that there's some kind of balance between the default styles. So, I think that looks pretty great. Maybe, whoops, put one of these here in the middle. Here, put some torches. Drowning, here. Torch, torch. Oh yeah, blame Wizzy is definitely a religion. It definitely is. If one day we add religions into mine colonies, one of the religions is going to be the blame Wizzy religions. So instead of saying there's a god that is like responsible for all the good things in the world, the religion is going to be about there being some entity Wizzy that's blamed for all the bad things in the world. Um, so, let me gather my shulker box here, destroy this, and this step two, and this here too, uh -huh. and those here actually too. That was not intentional here. Um, however, decorations, you can have any decoration. Like I can scan in with my scan tool now this entire bridge here and place it anywhere in the world and have the builder build it. That works. But what workers recognize as a valid building has to be accessed both on the server and on the client. Um, now, I'm going to place that down here. Here. I'm going to put some of these things inside. Yes, yes. And I'm going to need a bunch of sandstone stairs now to continue. Yes, if you play with your friends, you can have your own styles exactly. But if you 
like on servers we want to have something consistent especially since we're one day going to add combat mechanisms and then having a much cheaper style would good give you a huge edge about of uh, over the other colonies so that would be fairly unfair i would say yeah I've been thinking about uh, giving schematics uh, some advantage for being bigger, like prestige points or so, something like that. It, it would be, I thought a lot about that already, about making something that kind of calculates the difficulty of a schematic and then like the more difficult the schematic it increases automatically colony happiness depending on a building or maybe it contributes a little bit to the worker speed but it's fairly difficult to do and easy to abuse right what are difficult blocks what are blocks that are hard to get depending on the biome that could be completely different depending on the server that can be completely different yeah just a bit yeah it's true so so we need a little stairs up here. Yeah, there are many things. So it's a little bit difficult to assess. That's why, that's the main reason why I haven't implemented that yet, to be honest. So. I'm going to need it a bit out here too. Can destroy this one here. Okay. Mm hmm. And now I think I need some red wool to make some red wool tower here on top that fits into the style of the general style. So let's go to the warehouse and get some red wool. Yes, wamp style is something that is missing yet. And we'd be glad for any community contributions in this case. There's some, I think there are actually a few of styles mi missing. We do not have really mountain style buildings, nor um, the swamp style, swamp style, for example. Ah, red wool. Yeah. Yeah, I, sh I definitely should have put down a post box, post box there. You but could also do a snow style. <laughs> oh, I was actually once working on a snow style. But you really don't have many building blocks. Like going with like an igloo style of building. Yeah. But yeah, the difficulty is that the buildings all kind of end up looking the same because you don't have a lot of blocks to go with and either you have then to go with a lot of glass and there's no sand in snowy biomes <laughs> or you would use some uh, wood like spruce or so and and uh, there's some um, wood types but it's kind of always kind of difficult so i kind of gave that up 116 with all the new nether blocks is going on to probably going to allow us to make some nice nether styles, I believe. That's going to yeah. be pretty neat. So. Okay. Oops. There is a medieval oak style, yes. There's actually a medieval style for all the four uh, main wood types. Uh -huh. Yeah, that doesn't actually matter much what does up here. Eh, Greek style or Roman style would be pretty awesome too. There are many things which would be very neat to have, definitely. Mm 
here. That should cover this. Yeah, just need to find builders. Basically, it's that. Always the same story. <laughs> oh, those here turned out pretty bad. That was not the intended rotation of those. Did the other ones rotate correctly at least? No, the other one neither. God, what happened here? So, let's so go one out. Place it correctly. Um, but yes, ah, wrong again. But yes, there is a lot of work that has to be done by builders. Thankfully, we have a lot of amazing builders that are doing a lot of work already. Like we talked in a bunch of videos about it, how many building styles we have and it's really a lot I think that looks nice nice little tower there I think I can live with that yes maybe later we can add some multi blocks here but for now I'm pretty happy with how that turned out let me swim over here Um, the reason we actually did not do that yet, a schematic with uh, like a progress like that, is that actually we kind of have um, ideas for the future to have like five um, medieval levels, then five um, renaissance levels, and then having... Um, five modern levels or something like that but that is far future level it's because most progress within the mod is still within the colonial age time right so that would not fit very well with the mod if we added a modern style, since we do not have any modern style functionalities either. I don't care how it looks inside there. Oops. I care how it looks outside here. There we go. So. I think this year is almost finished. We need... Like this here. Then we make another one here, like that, that goes up to. We can make one here, that's like this. Um, closing up here, one, two. And I think that part here is finished, I would say. Going to some more torches. And our tower is finished. Can put those a bit high, higher. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. That looks great. Maybe one torch here. Right in the middle. Now I'm overthinking it again, ain't I? So. Now we're protected from the water, I would say. <laughs> nice. So that will take the raiders a fair bit amount, a fair amount of time. And since it's water, they're most likely not going to try to cross here. They're most likely either going to go here to the gate, or trying to go up the island here. So we're going to have to finish protecting the island here a little bit. Since I say I'm put up a way to climb now, that would be really bad if I left it there. So, oh, there's only one. Okay. So. Uh -huh. 
I guess it's time for another short trip to the warehouse. And yes, I know I still forgot <laughs> the post box around here. That could have saved could have saved me a lot of time. It didn't. Um yes. No, barbarians do not loot, they just kill everyone. Yay! I love this fireworks. But it's mine. Here I left it. Um yes, that is an idea that came up. A lot of people brought it up already. Um sprayer sprayer um however that is a bit difficult to achieve because we don't it's kind of difficult to define what kind of materials are the main materials like let's let's take here the the tower okay is the cobblestone stuff would that have to be replaced or only the planks and what about the shingles and all the logs and how is it about interior it's kind of difficult to define these kinds of things so we would need to tag a lot of things and have a lot of additional data which would not be very easy to achieve the things uh -huh. Aha. I wanted to put this here a little bit higher so, to make this uh, X, let me sleep quickly. Yes, my lord. Mm. So that's the main reason we didn't implement that yet. But in general, yes, that would be pretty nice to have that. And that's something we are keeping an open mind for in the future. Hey, I yes. don't think we can upgrade our hospital. Why? It means about 200 red sandstone. 200, 200 what? Red sandstone. We do not have so much red sandstone, you want to tell me? Don't think so. What What were you doing there in the Mesa biome, huh? If you're not bringing red sandstone. Sand. Four stacks of sand is one stack sand, so... <laughs> That's not a lot, don't you think? <laughs> Do you know how many stacks of sand I got it already here in the normal desert? <laughs> Actually, we do have... We have 192 red sandstone. Oh, that's not so bad. It's not so far. Yes, so using world edit, you could just, like Captain said, you replace all the buildings in the style, you make your own style out of it and use it on the server, and that works perfectly fine. So that's definitely a way on how to achieve these things. Like, we give you all the tools to be as creative as you want to be, basically. Ouch. Yeah, this. So. I need to make this sandstone as well. I right, just because we love mining in the water so much. Here we go. So yeah, if you enjoy really enjoy a style, that would be an easy way to handle that. So, I'm going to place those here. There we go. Here we go. There. 
and then a few more torches no problem whatsoever at all so and ready the new area here is i would say we're even feeling like hiring some guards to patrol here this bridge <laughs> So, let me just spend the remaining the remainder of my planks here to prevent our guard from falling in and to prevent raiders from the outside coming out. Because we never got the raid from that wet water area here and that is also kind of possible, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. So a, a raid here happening would be much worse because if there's only like one high barrier stopping them from entering, so we might place some f better defenses around those borders here too. But as always, we're just like politicians, only reactionary politics. We wait for things to go really wrong to fix it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, we want to be, do. We want this to be a realistic colony simulation, don't we? Yeah. Our citizens all died. No problem. We fix it next time. <laughs> first, first, a lot of people have to die for us to make uh, decisions and start thinking, doing the the right thing. Yeah. That's how it's usually done. <coughs> Hi, bro. How are you? Welcome to our stream. So, um, our episode is slowly ending again. Nice. Our cowboy is ready as well. So, our builders are getting much quicker and i partially blame the upgrade i did to the builder code that seems to be going built going are seeming to be going smoother and smoother oh don't say that i'm saying anything politician because else uh, twitch is going to demonetize me or youtube or whatever <laughs> that was not related to any real life um occurrences <laughs> corona uh, but i didn't say anything at all whatsoever so our episode is slowly ending you can even see here in this dis distance our new new bridge which is looking quite great um i'd say I'm going to keep it at that for today. We made some amazing progress in the colony again. Upgraded a bunch more buildings, increased our uh, defenses, and had this important defense part built with a great little wall in the middle. Um, if you haven't yet, please follow our channel. Um, we appreciate everyone following, liking our videos, following and subscribing on YouTube as well. Um, Patreons are always greatly appreciated as well. Um, yes, you came pretty, you tuned in pretty much at the end of the stream. We always um, start streaming at around 8.40 UTC, PM UTC. So if you enjoy at least the end of the stream, you can join us tomorrow again, most likely, at around 8.40 UTC. And watch our further progress with our colony and until then good night everyone have a good one <laughs>